Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about skip list data structure. The skip list data structure powers the key value data stores like Redis. Before understanding the skip list, we will see about the time complexity in searching an element in the sorted link list. To find the element 27 in this sorted link list, we can able to perform only the linear search. The time complexity of the linear search is order of n, where n is the number of elements in the sorted link list. If the list of sorted elements is an array data structure, we can use the binary search. That is, we will divide the list to 2 and compare the element to search with the mid. If the element to search is less than the mid value, then we will continue this divide and conquer in the first half list or else if the element to search is greater than the mid value, then we will continue this divide and conquer in the second half list. The time complexity of the binary search is order of log n. Can we able to skip searching the entire list like binary search in the linked list? Yes, this is what we are trying to achieve in the sorted skip list. First, we will see about perfect skip list. We will start with the started link list. In the skip list, we will have multiple layers to facilitate faster searching. The bottom most layer is the link list. We will start by adding a layer just above the bottom most layer. In this layer, we will skip one element. Here the head and tail of the link list are empty. So from the head, we will start second element 7 by skipping the first element 2. Next, we will link the second element 7 to the fourth element 12. Then we will link the fourth element 12 to the sixth element 16 and so on till the tail. We will call this layer as second layer from the bottom. We will build another layer by skipping one element from the immediate bottom layer which is the second layer. Here the head connects to the fourth element 12 by skipping 7 in between. From there this connects to the eighth element 21 and from there this connects to the twelfth element 43 and from there it connects to the tail. We will build another layer on top of the third layer which is also starts from the head and all the layer should start from head. From the head it connects to the 8th element by skipping the 4th element 12 and from there it connects to the tail. We will stop with this layer since we have only one element in this layer. Now we have created the perfect skip list from the sorted link list. Now we will see how to search an element in the perfect skip list. We will search the element 27 in this perfect skip list. First, we will start from the head node, traverse the topmost layer. From the head node, it goes to the element 21. Compare this to the number to search, which is 27. Here, this node value is 21, which is less than 27. Check the next node in the layer, which is tail. So, go one level below from this node 21 and traverse to the next element in this layer which is 43. Now we have an idea we are using the divide and conquer but here we are making use of different layers. This is how we are making use of divide and conquer in the linker list. 43 is greater than 27. Again go one level below from the node 21 and traverse to the next element in this layer which is 32. 32 is greater than 27. So go one level below and traverse to the next node from 21 which is 27. We got the number we are searching for. The time complexity for searching in a perfect skip list is order of log n. The space complexity of the perfect skip list is linear because at the lower level we have linked list. Its space complexity is order of n. In every immediate top layer the size is reduced to half then the current level that is in the immediate top it is n by 2 followed by n by 4 and so on till 1 in the topmost layer if you take n out which will be n into 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 by 4 and so on till 1 by n which total will be less than 2n so the space complexity of skip list is linear but there is a major flaw if you want to add or delete an element from the skip list, it is difficult because maintaining the skip list after 
adding or deleting an element is costly and time consuming since we need to alter the skip list completely. Let's take we need to add a new element 29 to this perfect skip list. Then the whole skip list need to be altered to fit in this element. Similarly, if we need to edit an element 21, this makes us to alter the entire skip list just like how we did in add to maintain its perfectness. So what is the solution? Instead of perfect skip list, we can use randomized skip list. For randomized skip list, we will use the probability. Now we will see how to create a randomized skip list. Initially we will have a head. Each node will have 4 pointers, one pointing to the next, one pointing to the previous and one pointing to the top and one pointing to the bottom. Now we can insert the first element in the skip list. The element 2 is added to the next of the head. The element 2's previous is marked as head. This is where the probability and randomness of skip list comes into the picture. Now we will perform the coin toss to see the level of this element. For every heads, we will increase the level. If we get tails, then we will stop there. We got heads here, so increasing the level of node 2. We also need to increase the level of the head node to be in sync with the highest level. Next, we will coin toss again. We got heads, so we need to increase the level of node 1 to one more level. Current level of node 2 is 3. We need to increase the head node level as well. We will coin toss again. We got tails. So we are not increasing the level of node 2 and we are done adding the first element to the skip list. Now we will add the next element 12 to the skip list. 12 is greater than the value 2. So we are adding this 12 to the lower level of node 2 and after that we are performing the coin toss to check if we need to increase the level of node 12. We got heads so we are increasing the level of the node 12. The level of the node 12 is 2 which is less than the head node level. We are performing the coin toss again. To find the level of node 12, we will perform this till we get tails. We got heads again so we are increasing the level of the node 12. The node 12 level is equal to the head level so we are not increasing the level of head. We are performing the coin toss again for the node 12 level. We got heads so we need to increase the level of node 12. The level of node 12 is greater than the head node so we need to increase the level of head as well. Now this node 12 level is connected to the head directly. We are performing the coin toss again to determine the level of node 12. We got tails so we are done adding the node 12 to the skip list. Now we will add another node 7 to the skip list. Already we have two nodes in the skip list 2 and 12. New node 7 is greater than 2 and less than 12. So we need to enter it to the nodes 2 lower level. Node 7's next is node 12 lower level. We are performing the kind task to determine the level of node 7. We got heads so we are incrementing the level of node 7. After that we are again performing the kind task. Here we got tails so we are done adding node 7 to the skip list. Similarly we will insert node 21 and node 5 to the skip list. Now we will see how to remove an element from the skip list. We will remove the element 12 from the skip list. First we will remove the lower level of the node 12. Connect the previous of node 12 to next of node 12. That is connect lower level of node 7 to lower level of node 21. Check there. Check if there is any other level of node 12 in the top. Remove the node 12 in level 2. Here the next of node 21 is tail which is null. So connect the previous of node 21 which is 7 to tail. Now go one level up and check if there is node 12 present. Yes present. Connect the previous of node 12 which is node 2 to tail. Now go one level up. Check if there is node 12 present. Yes. Connect the previous of node 12 which is head and next of node 12 is tail which is null. Now there is no level above this level. After removal of every node, check if the top level of head is directly connected to the tail. If so, remove the head. Here the top level of head is connected to the tail so remove that head which removes that level. Now we saw how to create, find and add an element to the skip list and also we saw how to remove an element from the skip list. In the next video we will see how to perform this programmatically. 
Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, subscribe to this channel. If you find this video helpful, share it with your friends.